If you really want to know about Johnny Winters, you would do well to get this book. He's a, he's a talented painter. It's called Hang Ups. But you look at some of these paintings, mm. you get a pretty good insight into what goes on in that mind. And I have no idea what it is. <laughs> he's a funny, funny man. Anyway, the book is out now. It's available. It's called Hang Ups. And here is Jonathan Winters. <laughs> Good evening, Carry sir. On. Carry on. Yes, I love you. Take your clothes off and come down here, young man. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, That's a good rejoinder. That's, That's not a, one of the paintings, by the way. That'll take care of him. It's awful hard to get people I to was, pose in the nude. Uh, I, I was looking at this. You got some. The elderly will never pose. <laughs> You don't see an elderly woman, you know, in one of those magazines. I just got it's interesting. Show, uh, a woman, I, seventy-five, shriveled, you know. Yeah. Nothing. I'm, hey, I'm not against people. Just, I'm getting shriveled myself, especially. There, there you. Are. I'm looking for one. <laughs> what, what are you looking for? I'm just looking for one. To do. Take your time. You won't be graded until well after eight. <laughs> Pencils down. <I'm> <laughs> You people with the book. I can't book. find it now. It was the first what? and last day of spring. Oh, yes, that's here. Huh? Here, let me well, help Where you. is that? I just happened uh, to see that. Do you know uh, where that is? I know the book. It's right <laughs> on the cover. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, here. Uh, first, that's, well, show, that's, yeah, that's this is it. it. The first this and last it. day first of spring. First and last day of spring. <laughs> uh, one woman asked me about the, these little black things. She said, are they licorice? <laughs> and uh, I said, yeah, and they really stick to the town. <laughs> Uh, but it, it's it, without, you know, bodies flying in the air and everything. It does tell you these obviously are little trees. I say obviously a lot of people. To me, they're, it's obvious they're little trees. I, I painted them. And um, this, this is a little village. And uh, then these, uh, the bomb's dropping. It's the first last day. A little comment. A little yes, word. it is. It, it can't happen, you know. Uh, well, let's hope not. It might not be in the spring. It might be uh, late September. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what I'm not you? big on predictions. Are you... Yeah. No, no. You didn't uh, get into art by entering one of those little uh, matchbook ads. I keep they're still out. You know, could draw the pirate, or have you seen those? Famous mm -hmm. art school. You can draw. Yes, I have and seen. And you draw those. the parrot or a little pirate, and you send it in. The, the set? I well, I did a combination, and was still turned down. I, I did. You mean they turned somebody down? Oh sure. I well, I did the parrot apparently on the wrong shoulder of the pirate, <laughs> and then I, I I did the pirate eating the the pirate uh, the parrot. And uh, the guy sent me a heavy-duty letter. He said, obviously, you got big problems. <laughs> of course, as I was writing from the place. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> the farm, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah I was away at the time. Um, where did you, you... You took art courses. Oh, yes. I, 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 I believe in school. I had a tough time in the regular school. Uh, as a when did trouble start? How old were you when trouble started? Oh, was, I would say... Kindergarten was a problem. <laughs> Kindergarten was a problem for me. I remember trying to make a clay rabbit and uh, had all day. You know, usually you should be able to make one before lunch. <laughs> and uh, I just like this, and uh, Mrs. McCauley came over. How are we doing? And I, I always bugged me. Even if, and I was a little kid then. I had no brothers or sisters. And I, I gee, boy, I didn't have, you know, uh, nearly as much weight problem. I was a rather attractive kid, as a matter of fact. Um, <laughs> At recess, I got lucky, but at any rate, uh, uh, I, when the teachers say, and a lot of people say, you know, how are we doing? What does this mean? Why can't you say, how are you doing? You know, but they say that in hospitals. How are we today? Not good. <laughs> well, see him? He doesn't like you. <laughs> uh, so, um, so Mrs. McCauley was giving you trouble so already. So Mrs. Huh? McCauley... She said, there's no reason for you to continue on in the first grade oh. if you can't make a bunny. Oh. But I fooled her. I was kind of a paper mache intellectual. I went around her, skipped the first grade entirely, uh, committed myself to the attic, and stayed there. <laughs> Read a lot of magazines. Oh, yeah, and listened to the squirrels uh, wandering around. And uh, then came down in time for the second grade. <laughs> and uh, I, I, I had a lot of problems. Uh, but I, I did manage to get through school. I find there are a lot of presidents, uh, not a lot, but a few, that have not had the great education and uh, managed to pick it up later on, yeah. you know, uh, maybe through theft, I don't know. Or what. <laughs> but at um, any rate, I, in coming out of the service, yeah. 
Uh, my father uh, said, which is standard, I think, for most fathers, to uh, a boy, uh, he said, uh, what are you going to do, kid? You haven't done anything for the last three years with yourself. <laughs> of course, and I was a corporal. I mean, that was a big thing to me, you know, a corporal. I was told that if you made corporal, you were as good as a general. Yeah. I believed that. <laughs> When the man came by in the jeep on the, you know, at, at the Navy Yard and I saluted him, that was my salute, you yep. know? Uh, he was an Army general, had no business on a Navy base. <laughs> I said, I'm better than you, I'm a corporal in the Marines, okay? <laughs> oh, hey, heavy. So I thought maybe the guys were coming out with Uzis for a moment. <laughs> uh, but uh, we never know today whether, you know. Do we, have but, cut, we, we have cut away for a moment. Really? Why? Yeah, Mr. DeCorda was telling me. I had no word on that. Yes, yes. <laughs> Could have briefed me, Johnny. You, you, you didn't hear that, huh? No, I didn't hear that. Right, well, we'll come right back here. Yes, we will. <laughs> We're talking with Johnny Vickers. All right, here's sitting on my right. Son of Dean Martin. You going home for the holidays? Back to uh, Ohio? No. I, uh, it, it's a little tough to go back this time of year uh, for a lot of reasons. About everybody's gone that I mean, I grew up with. Oh. I'm sure Ohio has an ample supply of people, but I, my, a lot of my people are lying down now permanently. And, uh, so I, uh, I, I think that's my chief reason for not going. I got yeah. one cousin left and uh, he's a little tight with the turkey and, uh, you know, you ask him for a little more, dark or white, and it's a lot of that. Uh, I'm tired of that gesture, by the way. Yeah. You know, so I decided not to go back to Cincinnati, but... Uh, what was it like when you were a kid? When I was a kid? Well, I was... Uh, partially electrocuted by a Lionel train. Um, oh, could, I was at fault. I'm not blaming Lionel. I'm sure some guy from Lionel is sitting up, what did he say about our train coming? Um, no, no, it was my fault. I had come in from a very snowy evening. I was petting the dog the wrong way to begin with. And, uh, so I... That's the only way you can get a dog's attention sometimes. <coughs> do that to his fur. <coughs> also do that, and you'll get really get his attention. I, I love to do that on a good snowy day. You see a dog, you know, fairly stiff. And, uh, uh, but only do it, only do it to a small dog, because if it's got a good-sized head on him, it, boy, he'll eat you alive. <laughs> But anyway, I'd come in and my, I had high tops. Remember high tops? Sure. Time? You remember high yeah. tops? If you lived in the Middle West or the East, or maybe they were sent to you in the South, you know. Um, they were high tops. A lot of the people are laughing because they were children or weren't even born. Uh, but they, uh, they were high tops and usually had a knife in your boot so you could kill a guy in the fourth wheel. Oh, yeah. uh, or get lucky on the turnstile. But uh, I'd come in, my shoes were just soaked. Oh boy. Apparently we're cheap high tops, and um, the uh, the water sn uh, went through, and I was setting up the train because Dad was resting. I was told he was resting. He rested for the first seven years of. Uh, it was like this. Hey, how you doing? You know, it's interesting to see a a guy really juiced to the gills and bombed. A, you know, here's a little rosy faced kid, sort of angelic. I was in those days, and I had. I'd put on ma uh, makeup. A kid down the block was a little different for me. And <laughs> put on a little disc, you know, and I was trying to do the Nutcracker Suite and everything. And I'm looking at my dad, who was, <laughs> this is December 24th, you know, Christmas Eve, we're gonna set the train up, and he's in a seersucker suit and a swimming trunks, you know. <laughs> I was just, the conversation, kids never forget. I was an only child. You never forget anything. <laughs> Two people really on you. My mother saying, get a bag. And I said, well, it's only five o'clock. Go anyway. <laughs> Back to the dog again. So my old man's like, it. Hey, don't put the train. Try to put the train together now. <laughs> Your father was celebrating, was he? He was celebrating something. Yeah. Uh, I think that uh, his old picture of Hoover fell off the mantle. And so uh, at any rate, I, I said, Dad, well, I asked that stupid question, you know, and having been an alcoholic, I understand it now. Um, I said, how are you feeling? I never said, how are we feeling? How are you, how are you feeling? I'm fine. And uh, my tongue flies out a lot, you know. And so I went over to kiss him, which, you know, even in the 30s, you could do that. And uh, it was, most uh, fathers would point, here, here, never here, here, here. So uh, I... 
Okay. Oh, full blast. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so it was at that time with wet shoes that I stepped on the track. <laughs> It sounds like a, uh, a lot of fun. Sounds like a warm Christmas day. <laughs> and uh, I asked a foolish thing. It was in the depression, or coming out of the depression. You remember that? Oh yeah, about the same age. <laughs> and uh, I, we were not wealthy. We were wealthy, but it was taken in about an hour. And uh, instantly went to wood toys. So uh, things like broomsticks, you know, with carved faces on them. So <laughs> stockings were filled full of just walnuts, and that's a bummer, gang. You know. <laughs> A stocking full of walnuts? <laughs> oh, another one, another one. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, tell me more. God. Surprise, surprise. Oh, <laughs> so, Not even an orange, huh? No. Just another walnut. <laughs> and there's something about opening up what you think are either wonderful bunny slippers, you know, sheepskin line, <laughs> or some new floor shine. And... <laughs> It was the most terrible, th I don't know what it was this day. Uh, it was something that had been hit in the road coming, coming back. And, yeah. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> and this thing's like it. All oh, these wonderful memories of a warm family Christmas. I'm dreaming. <laughs> we'll be right back after this. Stay where you are. <coughs>